Hey guys, welcome to Soccer Gaming, where all soccers can game. If you are not already a part of the community, then hit that red subscribe button to be a part of Soccer Nation. So last week's episode, we went over the potential of guys that we are wanting to basically recruit. We were able to get a few guys on our team sold off and got that great income to hopefully this episode bring some more guys in and finally get a whole team together. So if you want to see what players we get, stick around. We're going to start off this episode by taking Thank some press conference questions. questions and hopefully answering the right way, trying to give our team a boost. I'm sure the fans will soon see what Sands is all about and he'll prove he's the right man for the job. That's all we have time for now. Thank so we're excited to have Sands on our team and we'll have to see how he does. So we're going to go ahead and sim our very first game with our new players on it. And we're going to get a 3-0 victory. A few guys able to do good. And then we're going to start off with getting Carranza. We're going to pay the $4 million it takes just to skip all together and go talk to him. And we know he's good just because of futwizard.com. I think it's actually futwiz.com. And that tells us how good he's going to be. We don't know exactly how much he wants, but we're going to find that out now. We're going to go ahead and offer him a $35,000 signing bonus with $4,000 a week. Also, we go ahead and sign him for five years. He's gonna go ahead and accept it. So we got Carranza now in our lineup. Let's go ahead and put him up here. He is a striker. So a guy that is going to be hopefully scoring goals for us very soon. So let's go ahead and take out that guy. And let's put him at, should we put him at the wing position? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna put him at the wing position because I don't think he's a striker as far as just up top. So we're going to go ahead and put him at the right wing position and see how he does there. If he's scoring a bunch of goals, we'll keep him there. If not, we might move him up front, try to get more goals. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to sell another one of our guys trying to get these guys for the maximum price is kind of the hardest thing to do and we agree on an 8.25 million dollars and that'll be about six million for us we're also going to try to sell garcia asking 2.2 million for him and his release he's a young guy but he's not one of the best young guys so we're not going to keep him and we settled on 2.2 million so we'll get about 1.5 maybe 1.8 million of that in our transfer wanting to get a few other guys uh doku is not able to sign him because he just joined his team but we're gonna ask for a transfer we're gonna try to bring him over he's 17 years old kind of get a a feel of how good he's going to be and if he's really good hopefully next year we can try to sign him um, we're going to pay most of the price. We're going to try to settle on 75-25 or 80-20. And we just agree with the 80-20 because we want him on the team. We're not paying a lot necessarily. We're only paying like $1,000 a month for him or $1,000 a week for him. So nothing too out of our price zone. Almada is another guy we, we really, really want badly. And we end up finally getting him and it's time to try to sign him to a contract he does come in at a 72 overall so already pretty far along i think his potential is like an 88 or something so he gets really really good very very quickly and at 18 years of age right now is a perfect time to sign him before his his contract and everything gets that much more signing bonus we're going to give him about twenty thousand five hundred. And we're going to give him 50000 for 25 appearances because he wanted it. And we're going to sign him to a five-year $5,000. And he is glad about the weekly wage of $5,000. So signing Almada, probably our best guy on our team and probably going to be the best guy overall in the end. We're also going to pay $5.3 million to talk to Pomichol. He is in the U.S. right now playing, and I believe he is a U.S. citizen, so I think he will be on the U.S. team 
and bringing him in, trying to get him signed as well. So we're making a bunch of young guy signings right now after we got those big transfers in. Comes in at 69 overall. We're going to give him a five-year, four-point, sorry, five-year, $4,751 to try to finalize the deal. He's going to accept that. And so we are off on the right foot. Several guys coming in. Let's go ahead and add them to our roster, to the starting lineups. Sands, Pomacol in there. Almada in there as well. Kind of moving some guys around as we are kind of getting rid of some people. Uh, Carraza is on the left side now because we got the right wing. Almada, Pomacol. So yeah, we got kind of pretty uh, we got a bunch of corn or we got a bunch of center backs and backs that we need to fill but we got we got a great goalkeeper and our middle infield is looking very very well and then our strikers are looking good as well so we're gonna go try to keep continue to do it and the transfer deadline is running out so wow almost a trillion dollars spent but we're happy with what we got, and the signing is not over. We will continue to sign people. We will continue to do that type of stuff and be ready for the next transfer window. We'll be able to get those players in. Also, going to try to transfer people out. And the biggest thing I want to say about transferring is don't settle just to make a deal, especially when you're not in the transfer window. Um, sometimes you kind of like, oh, I could probably get $5.5 million, but just let's get them out. Let's just do $5 million. There was a lot of guys that basically didn't get signed. I do sign, or we do sell this guy for 2.5, but there's plenty of offers and stuff that I let go to try to get a better price, and they ended up paying out. We do get another win here, so looking very good. Let's go to the training, see how we were doing in the training. A B, an A, a C. So we did pretty good on the training. We're definitely increasing Carrazzo with the B look good. Young boys get another win. This time at Plymouth, 2-1. to one. New Hampton, 4-0. to zero. So we're starting to turn the corner. We're starting to really do well. Our young guys are in scoring goals, which is exactly what we want. The next guy we're going to try to sell is our striker. And I think we can get a lot for him. They want $5.5 million, but we're going to offer the 6.25, and they go ahead and accept that. And that's kind of exactly the price we wanted for him. Going back and forth for a while able to sign him and now basically our biggest guy that we have on our team he's 25 75 overall and his current value is 9.5 million we're gonna offer 15 million we've offered 15 million to several teams and they have not taken it and this is exactly what I'm talking about don't settle I never settled I wanted 5.5 for him and that's exactly what we got so kind of going over we got the Eng in the England, we got the cup coming up round one, nothing really going on there, but we are in round two. Hopefully we can get the victory and kind of move on from round two and go on to round three. Excited that we, if we do very well in this cup, we'll get that additional income. We were able to beat Doncaster two to nothing in round two. So round three is on its way. You might have to wait till the next episode though to watch and see if we are continue, continue to move on. I am excited though. If we get past round three against Middlesbrough, we will be playing some people like the Spurs and stuff that are in a higher division. Kind of give us a test of what our young guys can do. Let's go ahead, head to another press conference right before we start the cup. The lads do the best, yet sometimes it isn't enough. Thank you very much for attending and um, we apologize. So the squad is happy, we're happy, and we're ready for the cup run. So we're going to go ahead and try to send another guy away. We're going to add a sell-on clause just because I feel like he's young and they're going to move him around. So we could get a couple of extra million off this guy in the end. And since they won't take necessarily as much as we want, we were going to just try to hopefully they sell him later and I get an extra couple of million later on. But we're going to try to go ahead and sell him for $16 million. I'm not going anything less than that with the 5% sell-on clause. And they're going to actually take it. So we could possibly get the $20 million we were necessarily wanting at the beginning. But the sell-on clause could be great because, yeah, they could sell him for $25, $30 million and we get 5% of that. 
taking a look at the standings we are first with 33 points we are 11 0 and 1 loss so off to a great start i hope you guys are enjoying these episodes if you are make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also feel free to hit that red subscribe button i will be releasing these every wednesday until further notice and i'm loving making these videos the left side card will be the episode from last week if you have not watched it make sure you go ahead and watch it and the right side will be all of the episodes starting from episode one Till next time, slacker out.